and welcome to the weekly writing vlog. So I literally just closed out the last writing vlog. It is currently Thursday, October 21st. I am still at 41,767 words. The goal now is to hit 50k by the end of day Sunday, a week ahead of my previous deadline. And I'm feeling pretty confident about that. It's certainly challenging, like it's gonna be a little bit of a crunch. But, and this is key, it's a short-term crunch. Three and a half days to write 8.2k. That 50k milestone is so close. I can, I can taste it. Let's go get it. Good evening. It is now Thursday night. I think I'm calling it for the day at 43,419 words, which brings us to about 2.6k for the day, which is exactly the pace I need to meet my new goal. Look at all that green. Oh, you'll love to see it. Had a good little writing sesh. We're getting there. We're, we're getting there. I am very excited to hit 50k. And like, yes, it's a big milestone, but what I'm most excited about is getting to shift my focus. Right now, I'm like partially in adding words mode and partially in fixing words mode. And I'm, I'm ready to shift fully into fixing words mode. I'm just brainwashed by NaNoWriMo. So I'm like, I have to hit 50K first. Like I, I have to hit 50k first. It's the law, which is a little ridiculous. But when you've done NaNoWriMo so many times over the last like 12 years, it's, it's just, I I have to hit 50k for, I have to, I have to hit 50k. Did you guys know that I've been on YouTube for 10 years? Like next week is my 10 year anniversary on YouTube. I started this channel by making daily vlogs for NaNoWriMo and here we are. I'm still here doing almost the exact same thing, just, you know, with a with a better quality camera. Please don't watch my old videos. That's it for tonight. I will see you tomorrow, probably. I have better writing days when I don't have to take breaks to film, but then I won't have a vlog at the end of the week. So I'll, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow, I guess. Good morning. Okay, it's, it's afternoon. My sleep schedule is now somewhat normal. You know, I've been waking up at like 8 a.m. and going to sleep around midnight, which is fine. I did prefer waking up when it was still dark out, but then I started watching TikTok before bed and bedtime got further and further into the night. Anyways, today's update is that I lied. I told you directly to your face. Well, okay, I told the camera and it went like through your screen to your face. In the last clip, I said, I'll see you tomorrow. And tomorrow was yesterday. Yeah, so it's Saturday, it's October something 23rd. Yesterday I filmed a grand total of like seven seconds of footage that you can see here now. That's right, I had a 3k writing day yesterday so I feel zero guilt about not filming. Sorry, not sorry. Anyways, today I have decided to finally change the goal in my Scrivener project tracker. I've been hesitant to do this because I, I really did not want to change my deadline and then immediately fail it. But I'm pretty confident that I got this. I'm currently at 47,800 words. I've written 1152 for the day so far. The tracker says I need to write 372 words per day to hit my October 31st deadline. Such a cute little number. Let's change it. Officially, my deadline is now tomorrow. Okay, okay. I can work with this. So I need about 500 more words today. And then tomorrow I need to write a little more than a standard NaNoWriMo day. And I will finish this book. That's not true at all. I will hit 50k, but I, I won't be anywhere close to finishing this book. But 50k is a big milestone. So we're gonna celebrate that. Just not quite yet. Like I'm, I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. I still have to write 2,200 words, 500 of which I'm gonna go write right now. So I'll be back in a little bit. Or will I? Surprise, bitch. I bet you thought you'd seen the last of me. 
Okay, okay. Update. I wrote my 500 more words for the day. Actually, I wrote like 700, so I'm at 48.5k. 1500 words to go. You know, I didn't really write for most of the year. Like, I drafted Aeroyam back in January, February, but through March, April, May, June, July, most of August, not a lot of writing was done by me. So it just feels like so fucking nice to be writing again. It was like I was just saving up my words and now they're all exploding out of me. You know, I drafted 40k of something in September and now here in October I am drafting 50k of something else. Someday I will learn about moderation and it won't be all or nothing for me, but today is not that day. Neither is tomorrow. Or honestly, the next couple months here. Maybe I can pencil that in for 2022. Anyways, I am gonna go right more, maybe? The less I have to do tomorrow, the better. Because I do have to dedicate some time to editing last week's vlog, which is already up for you, but I haven't even started editing it yet in this moment. Which is weird for me, like usually as soon as I finish a vlog, I'm like in a rush to edit it and post it and get it out into the world. Be free! But I don't want to edit right now, I just want to write. So I think I'm just gonna go right. Apologies to the vlog. It'll it'll go up Monday instead of Sunday. Whatever, it's fine. Is it better without this light? Oh, I think it's better without that light. Is it better without that light? I guess. Hi. Hello. Today's the day. It is Sunday, October 24th. According to my tracker, to hit 50k, I only need to write 1,133 words. Not a problem. I got this. Bring it. So I think the plan for today is this. At this point, I only have four chapters that are currently under a thousand words. One of them is at like 600 words, one is at seven something, and then the other two are in the 800 range. So if I focus on getting each of these chapters up to at least 1k, then not only will I have a good 1k minimum for every chapter, but I'm pretty sure that'll push me to 50k. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now all of these low word count chapters are in part three, so this will also be some good work in that I'm gonna be figuring out the scene layout for these chapters. Like how many scenes and which character point of view we're in. You know, it's just like basic groundwork stuff that I still need to sort out. And like after this, part three is definitely still gonna be rough, but it will be good to work on it just a little bit more on this final day of zero drafting. You know, I want to clean up the end just a little bit before I retire from non-chronological writing and settle myself back at the very beginning of the story. But we'll talk more about that later. For now, I'm gonna go hit 50k! Oh yeah! Hello! Hi! Hi! Oh, my microphone just took a dive. I'm excited too! Hi! Hi! Hello! I did it! My word count is now 50,000 and like a hundred something, what was it? It's over 50k, that's all that matters. <sighs> Feels good, man. Feels feels real good. I mean, it also feels a little bit anticlimactic, but that's kind of usual for me. Cause like every time I hit 50k on a project, it's like, yes, awesome. But there's also a little voice in the back of my head that's like, cool, yeah, okay, but you still have so much fucking work to do, so let's not let's not celebrate too hard. But we can celebrate a little bit, you know? I'm at 50k. Every single chapter is at at least. 1,000 words. Oh, and when I look at the chart, there's there's no more red. You know, there's some orange and some yellow and just a whole lot of green. Very pretty. It's really pretty. The chart is looking mighty fine. I'll show you the chart, okay? Um, give, give me a minute. I'll set up a real shot because I want to like sit down and talk to you about things. We're gonna have a little chat about what comes next. Soon you'll see. Da, 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 50k! Good morning. Today is Friday. It is October 29th. My current word count is. Do we still care about word count? I mean, I care. My current word count is 54,491. So I am still adding words, but I have 
slowed down significantly. These last few days, I have transitioned from my chaotic, non-linear writing ways, and I've been working exclusively on part one. You know, the first seven chapters. With my word count minimum goals, it should be the first 21,000 words, but I will absolutely be going over that. It's gonna be at least 25k, and like, hopefully, hopefully, under 30k. I am a chronic underwriter when when it comes to zero drafting. But when I switch into first draft mode, I am a major overwriter. Major overwriter? So in the last few days, I've shifted from like, more words, more words, gotta add more words, into something more like, oh my god, fewer words, fewer words, you need to cut this down, holy shit. But yeah, I am no longer allowed to work on parts two or three until part one is done. I mean, if I come up with a great line or like a piece of dialogue, I will pop into a later chapter and add that in. But I'm not allowed to like work on any later chapters or scenes. Uh, just, just part one, part one until it's done. And the main reason for this is that I have a new goal and a new deadline. So I was talking to Christine and we decided that we are going to swap manuscripts on December 18th. That way we can read and discuss before the year ends. And we can go into the new year fresh with feedback and ready to work. Now I'm not gonna be done with this draft on December 18th, and Christine doesn't think she's gonna be done with hers either, like we're just swapping what we have so far. But for me, that does mean that I need to have something in sequential order. Like I can't just give her a bunch of random scenes. Now what I give her doesn't have to be great. This is more of an alpha reader situation than a beta reader situation. Like I'm okay with Christine reading something of mine in a rougher state than I would typically let anyone else read. So it's okay if it's a bit rough, but it does need to be like sequential chapters starting at the beginning. So that's how I need to revise. And I would like to have at least the first half ready to go by that point, but it's a bit too early to tell if that's a reasonable goal or not. So I'll be adjusting my expectations and goals as the weeks progress. Next up, I promised a final chart, so let's take a look at that. So this is the chart as of Sunday when I hit 50k, and here are the previous charts for reference. We have about 14k and about 30k, I think. Now it doesn't line up exactly anymore, you know, we went from 28 chapters to 25 chapters, but look at it, look at it! Seeing this, seeing the progress with my eyeballs, I like the visual, it's, it's proof that I am indeed making progress. As you can see, some of the chapters are already above the 3k word goal, or at least they were when I first hit 50k. Now they are even more over the word goal, which is fine. I'm still actively working on them, so the word count really is in flux. Like they're growing and shrinking quite a bit as I fix them up. And like it's okay if they're above 3,000 words. You know, there's 25 chapters, so if every chapter is 3,000 words, then that's 75,000 words total. If every chapter is 4,000 words, then that's 100,000 words total. So really anything in the 3 to 4k range is solid for a chapter. As long as the total word count stays under 100k, that that's fine, everything's fine. Part 3 is still rather rough, but that's to be expected. I need the first two parts to be really solid and well developed before I can write an impactful third act. You know, I can't wrap everything up in a satisfying way if I haven't yet established what precisely needs to be wrapped up. And then part two is pretty solid. I'm actually very excited to finish part one and like get to part two. You know, sometimes the middle of a story is like, Ugh. but with this story, the middle is my favorite part because like that's where all the really fun stuff goes down. But yeah, we're getting there. We're, we're really getting there. You know, it's kind of wild that I hit 50k on day 19 of working on this project. It hadn't even been three weeks. Like I outlined the story on October. October 6th and then just went for it. It is the fastest I've ever drafted anything. Oh, except maybe my fanfic novel. Like, that was a whirlwind experience. But we'll talk about that in another video. And finally, you might be wondering, hey Kat, are you still gonna be making weekly vlogs now that you're done drafting? And the answer to that is, Sort of. Right now, the plan is to continue making weekly videos, but instead of being vlog clips throughout the week, I'm gonna sit down like this one day a week 
and spend a couple minutes giving a brief writing update, like how my writing week went. And then I'm going to spend the rest of the video discussing the writing topic of the week. Topics currently on my list include how I analyze tropes, unique tips for character creation, my experience writing fanfic, my thoughts on self-publishing, writing sex scenes, and more! If you have a suggestion for a writing-related topic you'd like me to discuss, then please feel free to leave it in a comment and I'll add it to my list. And I think I'm going to be letting my patrons vote on these topics. So if you'd like to support my channel and my writing journey, and you'd also like to have a say in which writing topic I discuss next, join my Patreon! I'll link it down below. But yeah, I think that's everything for now. Thank you for joining me on this drafting journey. We're really just getting started, and I'm excited. You know, it's been a long while since I felt this excited about anything YouTube related. So this is nice. It's it's really nice. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a wonderful night and I hope you have a kick-ass NaNoWriMo if you're participating next month. I will have another video up next week, so I will see you then. Bye!